Why won't you talk to me? Do you have trouble communicating with your Raspberry Pi? You need wiring Pi and 433 utils. You look familiar. Who let you in here? Hey everyone, Steve Perry here. In this video, I'll show you how to set up the wiring Pi and 433 utils libraries on your Raspberry Pi. Here's what we'll do. Download the wiring Pi source from GitHub. Build wiring Pi and the GPIO utility from source. Verify the wiring Pi build. Download source code for 433 utils and RC switch and build 433 utils. Open a terminal window on your Raspberry Pi, navigate to the home automation folder and enter the git clone command. And the code will be downloaded to your Raspberry Pi. From a terminal window, navigate to the wiring Pi directory and run the build script dot forward slash build from the command line. The build takes just a few seconds to run. To verify the installation, type gpio space dash v and you see the version number along with some additional information. GPIO uses wiring Pi under the hood. So when you see this message, you know wiring Pi is installed correctly. From a terminal window, navigate to the home automation folder and enter the git clone command with the dash dash recursive option. You'll need the dash dash recursive option to pull the RC switch library. Now the code is on your Pi and it's time to build 433 utils. From the command prompt, navigate to the 433 utils forward slash rpi underscore utils directory and type make. The build takes just a few seconds to run. When it's finished, you'll have three programs. You'll only use two of them for this tutorial series. RF sniffer, which is used to capture the encoded signals sent by the 433 MHz remote controls that come with the devices that make up the home automation system, and code send, which is used to transmit signals to the IoT devices in the home automation system. And now wiring Pi and 433 utils are installed in your Raspberry Pi. Be sure to check out other videos in this series where I show you a quick tour of the GPIO utility and how to capture 433 MHz signals using the receiver module then send identical signals through the transmitter module to control IoT devices. That's it for now. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm Steve Perry. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. So long.